Righto, tallyo, and now let's have a look at this huge, this huge Acer 34-inch ultra-wide XR 34.2 CK display. So I will leave links in the description where you can buy this thing. It costs around 1200 Australian and around, I think I saw it for $700 US. So at $700 US for a 34 inch ultra wide, that's pretty good I'd say. And you know Acer, they have a lot of pedigree in gaming displays with their Predator line. So I think a bit of that has gone into this monitor as well. And this thing is just epic. It is huge, as Tiny Tom would say. It is enormous now usually when you buy a monitor it's either great for gaming or it's great for content creation or content consumption this thing is probably perfectly balanced it can be used for either productivity content creation content consumption and it's also good for gaming now it's not going to be a hardcore gamers cup of tea they're not going to really like it because its refresh rate is 75 hertz and 5 milliseconds response time now that might not sound great compared to 120 and 240 hertz monitors well if you're a hardcore gamer you're not going to get this but if you just like gaming and you like the other stuff this is perfectly balanced in between the two 75 hertz you actually can tell the difference from 60 hertz it's not a huge difference but it's there and 5 milliseconds response time as i said Although it's not as good as gaming monitors, it's still pretty good. It supports a billion colors, one million to one contrast ratio, it's 300 nits, LED backlit, IPS panel here, 21 by nine ratio, so it is a huge ultra wide. And this thing is 34 inches, as I said, it is huge. You pull it out of the box, it's all assembled. That is fantastic. And just to give you some perspective on how big this is, it's gonna take up your whole table. I have a 43 inch monitor, and this thing is just about as wide as a 40 three inch monitor now as i said it all comes together the stand is connected you don't have to mess about pull it out it's got a quality mechanism you can adjust it up down left right and you can also tilt it up and down so the adjustment mechanism works really well and you will be able to get that perfect position with some monitors you can't quite get now it is curved as i said the reflections are so well controlled you cannot see any reflections on this at all i guess maybe the curvature helps in that regard but reflections are extremely well controlled it is color accurate too so it's great for content creation as i said and it's virtually like having two normal screens put together so it'll be great for productivity as well or when you play a game like this you are really immersed especially if you're close enough it just takes up pretty much all of your field of view and you do really get into it if you look at something like premiere pro have a look at this timeline yes you get a massive timeline it is awesome to have that now if you turn around to the back on the left hand side you have the osd displays you have like a control nipple and three buttons there power button and two function buttons there on the right hand side you have four usb three connections there and you use a USB-C to connect your computer to use that port. One of the things I don't like about this is how you have to mess about trying to put in the power cable and the display port or the HDMI. I wish it was on the back instead of in that little cavity there where you just got to mess about. You don't know which way the cables are going to go but the good thing is you only have to put them in once. So ports you have the power jack, you have HDMI 2.1 HDMI 2.0, display port in, USB-C which is for the hub, you have display port out and you have headphone jack. So you're fully loaded with ports there. Also on the back you can see the speakers there, they are 2x75 watt DTS tuned speakers there. They're not that loud, I'll say they're not that loud but the quality is quite good. Now in terms of color gamut, you're gonna get 100% sRGB. So you've got enough color gamut there for your movies and if you're creating content, especially for the web. Now using the on-screen display or the tuning, you have gaming modes, you have movie modes, etc., and you can max out that overdrive on the gaming settings. There are a plethora of tuning options with this. It's very easy to use, intuitive to use with that nipple and just a couple of buttons there. I didn't even have to figure out how to use it, it was pretty simple. I turn most of that stuff off, but it's there for you anyway if you want that. And it is an improvement over the 341, which is the previous model. It's pretty legendary, that one. And this one is better in terms of that on-screen display. Now, 
300 nits brightness might not sound that bright, but it's plenty bright. I actually have it at around 75% and I find that's fine. Even when I do have the window open, still it's pretty bright. So if you want an ultra wide monitor, that's pretty much a perfect balance in between media, content creation, productivity and gaming this has got to be right up there all right it's not the fastest most highest refresh rate gaming monitor but it does have a higher refresh rate and for all the other things it excels at so it's a perfect blend of the two and it's probably something i would use because i don't want a full-on gaming monitor but i do want a monitor that is good for gaming but i want it great for all the rest of the things and this is what this is it's really good for all the rest of the things and for gaming it is good too so there you have it that's my review of the Acer 34 inch ultra wide XR 34 to CK display. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I'd like to really thank you guys for watching. And until next time, guys, tally ho.